You'll definitely come across some shady expats that a lot of them aren't exactly who they claim to be. All right, guys, this is the start of 2022. I'm not going to bullshit you guys. It's been pretty rough here in Thailand, here in Bangkok. There's a lot of Omicron narrative sentiments, a little bit more restrictions going on. Whether that changes for the better or not, we'll see in the next couple of weeks. I'm here with my good friend, Daniele. Dan. Hey guys. We've actually been living here in Bangkok as expats for more than a year. So far, I have nothing bad to say about living here in Bangkok, Thailand. It's, it's overall been a net positive experience. Been pretty happy about everything. Life's good. That's good. Can you say that? I mean, would you say more or less? We we both chose to live here, so um, it's it's a really great place to live. It's a really great base to have a uh, great starting point. If you, especially when it's easier to travel, it's a great place to go to other parts of the world, um, and you can live relatively on the cheap. Uh, food is great, but we do have you know one or two things that uh, one or two. Uh, what are they called? Ne I don't want to say negative. <laughs> We can say just dislikes. Points that we dislike. Yeah, and if you guys do plan on moving out here as expats and living here for, you know, a couple years, uh, it's probably, these are some things that you guys might want to keep under your radar and, you know, tailor your expectation management. Because I don't want you guys coming out here and you're experiencing all these unexpected things that we're about to name off. And you're going to be like, oh shit, I hate this country. It's probably not going to happen, but, you know, it's good to know before you come here. I think one of the things that kind of bugs me you know, especially when I'm shopping for electronics, appliances, uh, cell phones, like day-to-day -day, uh, usages is uh, some of the import tax uh, that you have to incur, especially when you're buying new, like let's say if you lost your phone, you gotta buy a new phone. There's usually a, a fairly sizable import tax. And if you decide to settle here long-term, if you wanna buy like, let's say a brand new Toyota or a Honda or a BMW, you have your base price, but there's also a 300% import tax that is incurred. Something that you're paying for, a $20,000 commuter mom and pop sedan might end up running you up to like 45,000, 50,000, 60,000 US. Back home, you can buy like a like a like a lower end Tesla with that. If you got friends that are heading back home to the states or back to Australia or back to Canada and they're going to come back to Thailand in 2 weeks, keep it in the back of your mind. Make sure you use your friends and tell them to pick up some tech, some electronics, some goods that you can't no normally get back home. Or that you can't get here, that you can get back home pretty easily. Yeah, um, yeah I think uh, Forrest makes a valid point. Obviously, there's some things that, uh, for example, cell phones, that if you want to get here, you're going to pay a premium for them. And there are some uh, cell phones, like a Google Pixel, that you actually can't get here. Um, uh, unless, well, you can go to some places where they do sell it, but you're gonna pay definitely a premium for, for those. So it does make a lot of sense to, if you have friends back home or if you're already back home, get some get the things that are easy to get there and bring them over here. <laughs> I think this is kind of the understatement of the year, but the uh, <laughs> roads and, uh, and sidewalks in Thailand, I think could use a little bit of love. Um, I actually, uh, several months ago, I, I tripped and uh, broke a, a metatarsal bone in my left foot. And so I was on casting crutches uh, for two months. And obviously, it's uh, it's hard to get around in casting crutches anywhere in the world, but it's especially hard when you're walking, trying to walk around the streets of uh, Thailand. Um, the roads tend to be a little bit unkempt, and some places, in some places, it's really good, really level roads, uh, level sidewalks. In some other ones, it's a little bit harder to get around. So uh, I do think that hopefully, in the coming years, they'll they'll pay a little bit more attention, give a little bit more love to the sidewalks. And How long did it take for you to recover for your uh, your injury? It took two months, and luckily, Forrest <laughs> helped me out a number of times because uh, it wasn't easy. It, it wasn't easy getting around. I slipped a number of times. Hey, and somebody's gonna take care of your ass. Man. <laughs> there are some places where the tiles are like flying all out, all over the place, and and there it's really dangerous if you're on crutches. And and it wasn't even so bad for me because it was only two months. But people who have some more serious disabilities, it can be it can be very hard to, to get around um, Bangkok and some of the other cities as well. So if you do have some problems getting around, then I, I'd recommend maybe. Uh, holding off coming here until you, you're you're better and you can get around more freely. The third thing that we're about to discuss, we're experiencing it like pretty hard as of a couple of days ago, and it's probably the air quality index. Here. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what the numbers are, but I I have seen that the the air quality what is it PMI's particle per whatever. Yeah, something like that. It's the air quality here is not is not um, terribly good, so. 
you might not be able to tell when you're just you know breathing normally but it is unhealthy uh, if you stay here for extended periods of time so it is good to get out go into the countryside go onto some island for a little bit just to um, clean up your lungs <laughs> the AQI the air quality index right now is roughly around 160 to, uh, to 190 not exactly the best for your lungs one thing you do want to I would suggest is that uh, maybe you head over to the islands. I think Phuket right now, the island of Phuket, is, they had, their air quality is around 25, which is definitely more on the healthier side. But I think January through April, when it comes to Bangkok or Chiang Mai, that's when the air quality index is absolutely shit. What's ever more popular is that, you know, especially with the millennial generation, everybody is working as remote workers, digital nomads, everybody has an online business. They're not necessarily, they not, they don't necessarily have to be physically available, physically there with their company. They can just communicate via Wi-Fi. So if you can just work off your laptop and you can't stand this horrible air quality here in Bangkok that we're experiencing right now, you can just completely uproot and head over to the, one of the islands in Phuket or Koh Samui and just stay there for a couple months until the AQI lowers down to a much healthier uh, rating. Absolutely. Not everyone has this luxury, obviously, if you're a doctor or something like that, you have to be on site. But if you do have the luxury to travel, and uh, uh, I, I do recommend going to the islands, going to the countryside. Um, Thai nature and countryside here is absolutely beautiful. Um, and you're going to have health benefits as a good side effect. So definitely recommend it. This very last part, it's based off of my own experiences. This could be very subjective. Uh, really depends on the crowds that you run in. If you're you know, husband, wife, family, you're generally gonna hang out and spend your time with other other families, other expat families or other Thai families. So you're not gonna endure this as much, but if you're a single guy, single guys like us, you're gonna come across a lot of shady expats. For the most part, I've never had like a negative encounter when, when, it, comes, when it comes to other Thai people, but you know, you'll definitely come across some shady expats that a lot of them aren't exactly who they claim to be. So you gotta be on the watch out watch out especially if you're like a single dude just going out to nightclubs or just meeting new people and you have that whole like you know i'm a new country like i'm super positive i'm super optimistic you're going to be meeting plenty of people here and there and you know once once you ease once you give them your trust give away your trust so easily they'll start asking you for money and next week you know they'll disappear and off the face of the planet and you're never going to hear from them ever again i've heard a couple cases where you know people have been scammed for money so most importantly, you know, when you're out here just building your network, meeting friends, take everything that they say with a grain of salt and uh, keep all your finances in your pocket. Yeah, a lot of people here, um, well not a lot, but I have heard cases and I have met people who will give you a pseudonym or they'll give you like a nickname or something like that. Some people are reluctant to give you their real names and there's always that should always raise some uh, red flags. So do be careful when you come here. I think there's a reason why there's such a higher density of shady, scammy people here in Bangkok. They're pretty much like in reinventing themselves here in this country under a new identity. They may be just an average person back in their hometown or with their home country. And when they come over to this country, they can just reinvent themselves and claim that... Yeah, you know, I, they can hit the reset button once yeah. they come here. So there are some people like that. And just claim whatever lud ludicrous claim that they are. Like, oh, I'm a, you know, I'm a crypto millionaire or... I've done, I've opened all these businesses. They can make all these outrageous claims, but eventually time will tell. When you spend more time with these individuals, you're gonna pick up who's genuine and who's not so genuine, or just be careful who you spend your time with. Watch out for yourself. And uh, yeah, keep your damn money. <laughs> <laughs> there is no perfect country, and we're willing to endure some of these negatives or some of these inconveniences for a lot of the positives uh, that bring forth living here in this wonderful country. Yeah, Thailand is a great place to visit and to live and I have no regrets uh, being here. I, I absolutely have loved my, my time here so far. Um, the only thing is obviously it's good to uh, take off your rose tinted glasses once you're over the, the honeymoon phase here in Thailand and see things for what they are. Uh, it's a fantastic place to be. Just you know, be careful and uh, take all precautions. You're going to be very excited when you come here. You're going to experience all these different, uh, you know, just a new whole life, new lifestyle, new culture. But uh, take it a day at a time. You know, try try to stay as level-headed as you can. You know, 
don't go around lending people a thousand dollars like all my new friends that I met two hours ago here have a thousand dollars have a thousand have a thousand like just keep your keep your wits to yourself and uh, try not to get scammed and uh, just try to try and enjoy to... the six months of amazing weather <laughs> so those are just a few things I've been traveling to around 40 countries and every time I go to a different country I always think to myself that I want to come back here to Thailand and you know, this past year has been wonderful We've been very grateful living here as expats and just enjoying, experiencing the wonderful, positive country and culture here in Thailand. Definitely. As Forrest said, uh, we've lived in multiple countries and in the back of our minds, we always yearn to come back to Thailand. So it's definitely a great place. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a very wonderful start of the New Year's in 2022, wherever, whatever country you are in. And despite all the... Uh, you know, despite all the rocky shit that's happening here in uh, Thailand for the beginning, you know, just remember that it's only temporary. So just want to end it off. Appreciate each and every one of you guys. Love you guys. Stay safe. Take care. See you guys in the next video. Peace.